In this video, we'll answer the question whether carbon monoxide, that's CO, is a polar or nonpolar molecule. So we start with the Lewis structure here. Here's our Lewis structure. We can see the carbon. There's a triple bond between the carbon and the oxygen. So there's three pairs of electrons being shared here. Carbon, that would have eight valence electrons. The oxygen would have eight. So this is a valid Lewis structure. We can see also when we look at the molecular geometry, the black's carbon, red is oxygen. Those triple bonds there, there'd be a lone pair on either side. It's in a straight line, so it's a linear molecule. Since it's a linear molecule, we could look at the difference in the electronegativity between the carbon and the oxygen and then determine if it's polar or nonpolar. If there's a difference in the electronegativity, we'd have our polar molecule. Let's look at the periodic table with electronegativity values. So here is carbon 2.55 and then oxygen 3.44. Because this difference is greater than 0.5, but still less than about 2, we say this is a polar covalent molecule. And because our oxygen here is more electronegative, it's going to have a slight negative charge, a partial negative charge. The carbon will have a slight positive charge. That's because the electrons, the valence electrons in these bonds here, they're going to spend more time around the oxygen because it's more electronegative. That makes carbon monoxide a polar molecule. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.